Get your hand out my pocket. Red paint dripping like the Benz got its throat slashed. Slash. Superhero money, my pockets on hoax smash. smash. Superhero money, my pockets on Bruce Wayne. Hotter than a Pyrex pot on top of blue flame. Hey, I'm full of dope like a drug balloon. Get your syringes when I heat up like a junkie spoon. Ooh. It was all a dream in my small room Wishing on the sun and moon That I'd be a star soon Cause my kind of living has all types of battle scar wounds Looking at these rappers now It's like I'm watching cartoons Hijinks and Chanel What up YouTube? This your boy down low back for another reply But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man So, Paul Giamatti If you don't already know who he is uh, I'ma show you a picture because you know who he is You just may not have known his name They selected him to play Jerry Heller in the NWA biopic, man. And you know what? I've been questionable about a lot of the selections that they've had, like not including Easy E's son to play Easy E, but this by far the best selection that they've had. I can definitely see him as Jerry Heller. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's replies to that Tiger and Dad. And you know what? Overall, the song is just not impressive at all. Like, there's nothing that you can point out and say, oh, that was pretty decent. Not the beat. Not the way he's rhyming on the beat, not the things that he's saying, man, not the hook, not a goddamn thing. It's really just unimpressive. Like, really, the only reason why you tend to want to hold on to listen to it is to hear what he's saying about Wiz Khalifa, seeing as though Wiz has recently been upset about him dropping out of the damn tour, but yet all he really says is that, you know, Wiz is still my boy or whatever. We still smoke together and shit. And you know, I like that aspect. I mean, still remain friends if you're friends with the dude, man, but just know that you just can't do business with this motherfucker. Ain't no need to start no unnecessary fucking beef, but overall as a track man, this is just overall forgetful and I don't even recommend people to go ahead and peep that shit on out. Anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com. And today's article is about learning to be patient, man, because this is some shit that motherfuckers fuck up on, dude. See, a lot of rappers claim that they're so patient and they're gonna get to where they wanna go, but their actions say something completely opposite, man. See, too often people spend more money than they have budgeted on attempts to get blown up overnight type shit. Like, if you get in the right place at the right time, meet the right person, you invest so much money into that shit instead of just investing your money in the slow progression getting better as you continue to go and building up your audience one fan at a time type shit and that's a sign of not being patient enough to grow you gotta understand this shit could easily take you 10 years to get you anywhere dude so you gotta be patient and make sure you push forward every day the right way even if it's the way that's gonna take the fucking longest those who aren't patient end up blowing their fucking careers on some bullshit I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's